Welcome back. Jodie Myers was a beautiful young woman who loved to help others and had aspirations of someday becoming a guide dog trainer. She was also the mum of a precious little boy. Her family had lived in the Manham area, about 100 kilometres east of Adelaide, before Jodie was born. They lived next door to the Archer family. Jodie's mum, Lucy, says Margaret Archer invited her in for coffee one day. And besides the house being filthy, for some reason she felt Margaret Archer gave off a bad vibe. It made her uncomfortable and she never returned to the house. Lucy's family eventually moved away from the area, but returned years later. By that time, Jodie was 16, and it wasn't long before she announced that she had a boyfriend. Lucy was apprehensive when she discovered it was one of Margaret Archer's sons, Neil, but decided that it was unfair to judge Neil by the feelings she had for his mother. After all, she thought, just because the woman doesn't keep a tidy house, it didn't mean she raised a bad son. The relationship continued and Jodie eventually moved in with Neil and at 18 gave birth to a son, Elijah. But Lucy's apprehension continued. She said it felt like he was trying to pull Jodie away from her family. Whenever she would invite the young couple for dinner, Neil would stay in the car, refusing to come inside. When she asked Jodie why he did that, Jodie would say he wasn't feeling well or made some other excuse, before finally admitting to her mother that Neil thought her family was trying to break them up. The visits decreased and Lucy felt Neil had too much control over her daughter. One night he finally came inside with Jodie and Lucy hoped it was a turning point until Neil suddenly interrupted the dinner conversation and announced, if Jodie ever leaves me, I will kill her. Everyone was shocked, but Lucy laughed it off as a joke. A short time later, she excused herself from the silence table and said they had to go. Lucy knew her daughter was unhappy. Finally, one day, Jodie came home to stay the night. She said she needed some space from Neil. She said, I want to leave him, Mum. I don't love him anymore. Relieved, Lucy hugged her daughter and told her to come home. Jodie promised she'd gather her things and return with Elijah soon. Two days passed and Jodie's sister, Tanya, told their mother that Jodie had been at the surprise birthday barbecue for their stepfather and that Neil, as usual, sat in the car sulking. Tanya said when Jodie got in the car with him, they appeared to be arguing before they drove off. That was the last time anyone saw Jodie alive. A few days later, Lucy received a text message from Jodie's phone saying she'd left Neil and was staying with friends. She was not in the area and would be in contact soon. But something wasn't right. Lucy said Jodie always finished her text messages with the words, love you. There were spelling errors that she knew Jodie wouldn't make. And she'd said she was coming home, not going to stay with friends. Jodie's sister Tanya tried calling her but it went straight to voicemail and Tanya agreed with Lucy's uneasing feeling. They reported her as missing. A few more days passed before Neil finally returned their calls. When asked if he'd seen Jodie, he replied, Nah, she just left. I wasn't worried about her until I heard she was reported missing. He said he had no idea where she was. But when it was revealed that she'd left without her son Elijah, Lucy knew something terrible had happened. She knew Jodie would never abandon her 18-month-old son. By this time, news crews had arrived in the town 
Jodie's families had put up posters and police were scouring the area, including the local river. Both Neil Archer and his mother Margaret appeared on camera, begging for Jodie's safe return, Margaret visibly sobbing. But there was no news. Not contacting about her son is the main concern I do have. I'd never harm her, never have. In sentencing, Archer, A month passed before Lucy was awakened by loud banging at the front door. Hoping it was Jodie, her stomach dropped when she saw her daughters, Tanya and Sarah, standing there with their partners. She could see they had been crying. Tanya was the one to tell her that they'd found Jodie's body buried in the yard of Neil's parents' home. Behind the scene, police had been building a case against Neil Archer. They had uncovered CCTV footage of Neil and his mother one day after Jody had disappeared, withdrawing $250 in cash with Jody's ATM card. Footage from a nearby bunning store captured Margaret buying 600 kilos of cement. She'd also purchased a recharge card for Jody's phone, the one from which the message to Lucy had been sent. Neil, apparently nervous over the intensifying police investigation, had confessed to his brother Michael. After the barbecue for Jodie's stepfather, they had argued, and Jodie told him that she was leaving. Enraged, Neil took the cord from his hoodie jacket and strangled Jodie to death. He then took her body to his parents' property and buried her under the floor of an old tool shed returning the following day to lay concrete over the top. The shed was only metres away from where he and his mother were interviewed while they begged for Jodie's return. Neil's father had been away on a trip to Tasmania and on his return, Neil told him that he had concreted the shed as a Father's Day gift. Neil's brother Michael contacted the police. 31-year-old Neil Anthony Archer pleaded guilty to murdering 20-year-old Jodie Myers and was sentenced to life with a minimum of 22 years in jail. Margaret Archer was charged with assisting Neil to cover up and dispose of Jodie's body. She pled not guilty and was held in custody to await trial. An 11th hour confession saw her sentence to six and a half years. It was later revealed that Neil Archer told two fellow inmates that his mother was present and held Jodie down as he took her life. The allegations were deemed inadmissible in court. Spokesperson for the family throughout the trial, Jodie's brother-in-law, Michael Bates, says they will remember Jodie as the bright, bubbly and full of life person she was before Neil Archer smashed her confidence, before he broke her down. Jodie's son, Elijah, now lives with her mum, Lucy. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence in any form, please contact 1800 RESPECT or visit whiteribbon.org.au Thanks for watching.